Hello everyone, this is Melissa from stampwithmelissa.com. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States, and today I want to share a video with you on how to do the Northern Lights technique. So you can see that I've got um, just kind of a beautiful array of colors on this card here, and I want to share with you how to do that. So before we get started, um, I'm going to ask you please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel, that really helps me out. So let's go ahead and get started. So for this card, I've got a card base of Misty Moonlight, and then I've got three pieces of Whisper White. One for the um, inside of the card, one for the framing of the card, and one to actually do the sponging on. Now all of the measurements for these will be on my blog, and the link for that is in the description box below. So I'm going to move these out of the way and keep the smallest basic white piece here. And I'm also bringing in a piece of scrap paper here. You're going to want something um, to cover your table or your workspace uh, because we will be sponging and it does get kind of messy, so you don't want to ruin your workspace. Next up here, I'm going to show you these are all the colors that we'll be using to sponge. So we've got Misty Moonlight, Bermuda Bay, Granny Apple Green, Magenta Madness, and Basic Gray. And then I'll also be using Tuxedo um, Memento Black ink for um, some of the stamping. So I'm going to go ahead and start with these three middle colors here, and I'll show you how we achieve this technique. So I've got the Magenta Madness first, and I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And then what I'm going to do is bring in my blending brushes. Now these are newer to Stampin' Up! and they were out of stock for a while, but they are back in stock now, um, at least at the time of me filming this video. So um, go ahead and purchase them now. They are amazing. You get three in a pack, which is awesome, and I have one for each color family. So this is for my pinks. Um, and then you can see I also have one for my greens. Um, I have like a tealish color just because I don't want this to get too muddled with other blues. Um, and then I have like dark blue, yellow, red, etc. So I'm going to use my blending brush and I'm going to go ahead and pick up some of the ink just directly from the stamp pad here, like so. And I want to dab it off first because you can see it's a little bit harsh when you start. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of pick a part of the card and just kind of blend in a vertical motion here. So I am um, pressing pretty lightly, but this effect, you could use an array of different colors here. Um, I just really liked these colors. So now that I've got that on, I'm gonna go ahead and put this away and bring out my Granny Apple Green. All right, now I've got Granny Apple Green and my green blending brush. So again, I'm gonna pick up some of that color and just dab on the side for just a second. And then I'm going to go in right next to that Magenta Madness and add some of this green color. And again, you can just play around with this so you can do it very lightly or you can do it um, a little bit more firm. Just play around and see what you like best. All right, now that I've got that green on there, I'm going to do my Bermuda Bay. All right, my Bermuda Bay is opened and I've got my teal blending brush. I'm picking up some color here again dab off on the side and I'm just going to kind of blend this color a little bit into that green and so then I'm going to bring in my Misty Moonlight and my dark blue blending brush and I'm going to pick up some color here and now you'll notice with these I went vertical the whole time um, like this kind of a motion. Um, what I advise now is what you're actually going to do is you're going to start off the paper and blend right onto the paper in a circular motion. And with the northern lights, it's actually, you know, the sky is darker towards the top. So I'm going to make sure to make the top pretty dark and just kind of drag the color down. So I'm going to speed this part up and here we go. Okay, so now that I've got that sponged here, I'm not going to add any more ink, but I'm just going to very lightly go over the top of where I added the other color, just to kind of pull down some of that. And I am not pressing hard at all, which is why I'm holding the handle back here. But I just kind of want those colors to blend a little bit. So that's done, so I'm going to go ahead and remove my Misty Moonlight. And then I've got my basic gray here, and I'm going to go ahead and open that up and bring in my gray blending brush 
and pick up some color again here. And this time I'm gonna go ahead and sponge this gray on the bottom. I'm gonna put a mountain there. And so I just kind of want that part um, to appear darker. So here we go. Isn't that such a fun technique? Now, because it's kind of like a straight line across here, I am gonna bring in a few of my colors and I'm just gonna use my blending brushes again to kind of try to pull some of that color up more just so it doesn't look like a straight line across. So I'm gonna start with the Magenta Madness for this. All right, and isn't that so fun? That is just, it turned out so beautiful. It is such a fun technique. So now I am using the Mountain Air stamp set and I'm going to be using the mountain image and then also this tree image for the inside. So I've got the mountain image ready to go and we're gonna go ahead and stamp it down here with the Tuxedo Black ink. All right, so I've got the mountain here, got my black ink here and I'm gonna go ahead and ink this up like so making sure it gets a good inking there. And I'm gonna grab it and I want these mountains, you can see that they don't really have a flesh bottom um, and I do want them to have a flesh bottom on the card. So I do need to go down a little bit and you can see I left my scrap paper here and I'm just gonna go ahead and ink that down right there on the bottom of the card. Oh, look how pretty that is. Okay, so on the original card here, you can see that there are some white spots around here to um, resemble the stars. And you can also see there's a little bit of white on the mountains to show the snow. So the way I did that was with the um, white chalk marker from Stampin' Up. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So to start, I've got the chalk marker open and I'm just gonna do little circles just every so often on the card and I know I'm gonna put a sentiment here so I probably won't put a lot of stars there but I'm just doing little circular motions here and adding stars wherever I want them so you can kind of have fun with it you can make big stars little sm stars whatever you want all right so then what I'm gonna do is you can see there's in the um, panel here there is some darker spots and those are um, the shadows of the mountain. So in the lighter portions, I'm just gonna kind of scribble around some of the white. You don't have to be too careful with this um, and you might lose some of the black marks in the stamp, but that's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this piece to the side to dry a little bit. I just want some of that ink to dry, especially up here before I go ahead and add the sentiment on. And while that dries, I've got the biggest piece of basic white here, and this is for the inside of the card. So I'm going to be using the Misty Moonlight ink along with this tree stamp. And you can see I didn't clean it off super well from um, my first card sample, but that's okay. So we're gonna go ahead and ink this up. like so and then I'm gonna go ahead and line this up at the bottom and I want to make sure it comes off of both sides just to give it a seamless look here and stamp that down beautiful and while that other piece dries a little bit longer I did want to share with you how I clean my um, blending brushes so I've got the dark blue one here and I just use my chamois and I just kind of rub it in the chamois a little bit and you can see that these blending brushes will be stained. That's normal, all right? So I've got my scrap piece back in here, and now when I rub it off, there is still a little bit of color, so I'm gonna try this again. And then you can see there's still gonna be a little bit of color, but it's a lot less than it was before. So that's how I clean my blending brushes. All right, now that those are all clean, I've got my piece back in here and I'm gonna bring out my Versamark, my white embossing powder, which I store in this little Tupperware container. Then I'm also gonna bring out my embossing buddy. Now Stampin' Up! doesn't sell the embossing buddy anymore, 
Um, they had it for a long time, but when you buy an embossing buddy, you really don't need to buy a new one for a while. So I think they had low sales, so they discontinued it, but I'm sure you can find it on Amazon or at a local craft store. Um, but this is important because there's already been ink on the um, paper. You wanna make sure that there is no static and the embossing buddy removes that static for you. So that's why I'm just gonna rub it on that top right corner there. I'm gonna put the embossing buddy away. And the sentiment I'm using is from this color and contour stamp set, which is coming up on May 4th. It'll be available to customers. Um, and I'm using this You're Absolutely Amazing stamp set here. Now I want these cards to be good for any occasion. Um, Otherwise, this would be a beautiful birthday card. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my Versamark here and ink up that sentiment and stamp it right down in the top corner there. Then I've got my Tupperware here. I'm gonna go ahead and open this. You can see all my white embossing powder. I'm just gonna pick up some powder with a spoon, put it right on top of that sentiment and look at how nice that turned out. Then I've got my heat tool here and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the sentiment all heated up. All right, now that that's done and it looks great, I'm gonna bring in this middle piece of basic white. Now, if you remember, this used to be our smallest piece of basic white. Not so much anymore, huh? Um, so I'm gonna flip this over and then I've got my seal adhesive here and I'm almost out of this one, so hopefully it can last me um, through this card. And we're gonna go ahead and just put the adhesive here and I'm gonna center it on this piece. All right, and then if you know me, you know that I always like to use my bone folder to give that a good crease. So there we have it. Isn't that so adorable? Let me bring in the original here too. So you can see on the original, I have a bigger border. Um, and on this one, I have a smaller border. So let me know which one you like the best in the comments below, although they're pretty similar. So thank you so much for watching today. Let me know down in the comments too if you've ever actually seen the Northern Lights in person. I have not, it's on my bucket list, so maybe someday. Um, maybe I'll just have to go to Alaska in the summer. I think they have pretty good chances to see it and that would be awesome. It would be absolutely amazing to see the Northern Lights in person. Um, but thank you so much for watching today. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and um, give me a thumbs up and then go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That really helps me out as I try to um, grow my viewing so I can do more um, videos for you. So thank you so much. Again, the measurements for everything and pictures are in my blog post. Um, and you can find the link to that down in the description box below, as well as links to shop my online store if you're in the US and links to contact me. And feel free to send me an email if you'd like a catalog. I send them out for free. So just let me know you want one. Uh, thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.